All right, boys, welcome to the 80 Years War start date, where the Netherlands is trying to get its independence. Now, I'm just going to flick through uh, 10 years at a time, and if you notice something about the Netherlands, uh, they are typically always at war with the Spanish, uh, and also the Portuguese for the most part. So today, we are going to be starting in the 80 Wars, Years War um, start date, and we're going to be fighting the Spanish and seeing what we can do. We're going to flick Iron Man mode on, even though there's no achievements at this point. So to start with, uh, we're at war with Spain and all of their colonies, which is about, about 100,000 men. Yeah, about 100,000. We have uh, 22,000, or 23,000, my apologies. At this point, cannons, not all that effective. Uh, still kind of worth it, but not really. It's sort of level 16 that you want that, uh, which unfortunately means that we don't really have an advantage because usually the AI doesn't put too many uh, cannons in. I will say this. We may have to surrender this war. We may have to just like, yeah, um, uh, give up. What would they want? Okay, they only want like two provinces or so. But obviously I'm not going to give up that that early, you know? All right, let's go ahead and grab all these missions that we need. Stuff's all pretty Catholic. I'm tempted just to go full on missionary strength. Okay, policies. Why ideas do we start with? Surely trade is one of them, right? We don't have trade? Okay, well, we've got defensive at least. Oh God, we don't have trade ideas. We're the Dutch. Okay, what policies? Settle a chance. Okay. Do we even have any colonies? I don't know that we do. The Spanish certainly do. Do we have any, like, treaty ports? Okay, so we have a colonist and we've completed exploration ideas, but we don't have the ability to colonize. Wait, do we not have the Dutch government type? Oh my god, we don't have a Dutch Republic. Okay, challenge Spanish power. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do that. Merge the stat holders. This just gains me legitimacy. I just like clicking buttons. Mercantilism. Land owned by the crown at least something percent. Okay, well, we need to start seizing that, but, well, we can't because we're at war. So I won't give any uh, privileges out. What's this? Fix the garrison. Yep. Anything to do with war. Uh, we need to fight the French, apparently. I, okay, not about that one. All right, let's sit down and slog this one out then. Okay, of course, they're allied to them. Bloody von Outsburg. Would anyone out of curiosity, after this war, would anyone ally us? Uh, a couple of people. Convert provinces to reform. Let's do that. And also, let's focus on war, please. Okay, we don't actually have enough fellow points for that. Okay, my bad. How much money do we make? Nothing. We make absolutely nothing. Fleet maintenance. We're going to send our fleet round to see if we can kill the Spanish fleet. Well, there's the Spanish Armada. Um, we can drive up the war exhaustion, but only if the French give us war access. It would cost us 1.6 a month. I think it's worth it. So we'll improve relations with them. If the French give over military access to the Spaniards, we are dead. <laughs> it's over for us. It's part of the Holy Roman Empire. Okay. Well, that's actually kind of a good thing. Um, I wasn't aware that the Dutch were. <laughs> my game appears to have crashed when my 25-year-old 555 leader died. Like two years into the game. There are things I'll tolerate, boys, and there are things that I will not. For those of you curious about the uh, current state of the world, the... There's the Russo Commonwealth War in terms of like the Livonian. Um, that's a thing. The Ottomans are doing pretty well, but the Ottomans also have the same issue that they have if you, you remember the Swedish war I did, the Great Northern War? Uh, similar sort of chat, historical challenge. The Ottomans have a thing where they have like tons of vassals and so they can never do anything with diplomatic tech. Okay, one decision no more, but I've lost a couple of ships just to uh, attrition. I don't wanna lose any more. Uh, I kind of messed up and did not realize that some of them were suffering like 25% attrition. All right, is there any way I could access these provinces without the Spanish murdering me? Uh, I can probably get military access through Liege. Liege, Trier, Palatinate. Not Baden? Why not? I war with neighboring ally. Ah, has to be Lorraine, Strasbourg. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. So, Liege, Trier, Palatinate, Strasbourg, Lorraine, and that gives us access down here. And then I can get one through Switzerland as well to just try and drop some war score over there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we call a mistake. Are we winning that? I don't think we are. Oh, we kind of are. Okay. Right, let's brought this for quickly. <laughs> Before they come back and maybe get some mercenaries. Oh, the free company is so small. Um, we're going to get the grand company. Yeah, this one's going to suck. Uh, shift consolidate, boys. Grab ourselves. Oh, cool. All right. No one. Awesome. All right. We're going to retreat out of this one the second we can. France has revoked their guarantee. And if they're chasing me, run! <laughs> I made a mistake. All right, there are some Spaniards here we've got to murder. We sort of have comparative troops with the Spaniards. Uh, let's cancel all the military access that we got. Because we're not going down there anymore. Everyone gets access to Spain. The Spanish are coming. Okay, he has a 5-3. And we have a... We have 3-3, three, three, so he has better. Okay, we're going to go for war. I'll give us some more morale. Okay, we're going to take a bunch of loans here. This is do or die. Uh, we're going to need more... What's the combat width? 27. Other military leaders left us. How much are we leaving per month? 40 ducats. Okay, let's delete the independent army. We just need him for that little incursion. Uh, okay, we don't have any admirals. That sucks. Okay, we have cores on this province and this province. We need money. Yeah, we're just gonna have to sit in this war until he goes down. Like, that's that's the only shot we really have. It's a shame we lost all those light ships. That was kind of a waste. We need them for uh, blockading. Jesus Christ, he's so up for it. I'm getting rid of the Grand Company. 
We gotta try and save our money. All right, I'm gonna drop our war exhaustion a bunch because we need these guys to not rise up. Breda, why does Breda want to rise up? Great peasants war. Is there only provinces in the HRE that count for that? Breda's not even HRE, so why is just Breda is getting great peasants war? Oh, just a base. Why is it base plus 10? What? <laughs> I don't get it. Five, five, five. Yeah, there's no way we're winning that naval engagement. We killed one of his heavies, to be fair. Oh, brilliant. 17,000 troops. How did you get here? And you assume from Italy. Miltech's a key one. Okay, we've got to fight this before he gets Miltech 14. I'm actually going to go ahead and hand off some stuff to you so I can get an extra one per month. Gain 100 mil power. That's so crucial. Oh my god, that's so crucial. That's a, that's a big navy. That they're Just six isolated heavies. Please destroy at least one. Okay, so Salakan again, we need... Some more. To be fair, he's on Miltech 13, so that's good. We'll let him sit there on Luxembourg for a while. He's at 9. We need to get him down to low. There's no point bowing out now. We, we will ruin... If we don't get everything we need for this war, we will ruin our nation permanently. Okay, he's about to get Miltech. The next Miltech. That's a lot of damage. God, it's just so painful to fight him over and over again. Okay, he's dead. Oh, now you don't give me military access. Okay. Strasbourg. I'm going to send my navy away to try and coax that other navy out. Got a 3-4. There are 3 4 as well. Okay, so two guys with full siege. Interesting. All right, how far until you get locked down to low? Okay, pretty, like, pretty soon. See if we can nip in and kill any ships. Okay, the ships are gone. They're somewhere. Gotta make sure we don't get picked off. Funny, because the uh, the actual Dutch would have absolutely just taken um, independence at this point if it was offered to them. And instead of taking that, we're going to go for trade ideas and start going down the trade ideas route instead of taking the next Diplotech. So we are going to go and try and squeeze as much war score out by heading around here, apparently murdering a heavy ship and blockading what we can blockade. Right! Okay, so first things first, we want all their money. We get war operations as well, because I really want to just rebuild this nation. How much war score do we have left to play with? Three. Now this is it. So we take three provinces and then all of the money in the world and war operations. I don't really care for anything else. If I get rid of their alliance with Austria, they'll just get it back. Let's do that. Okay, we actually took more casualties than they did. <laughs> but that's that's fine. Alright, we can pay off all of our loans. And we still have 600 spare. That was a net positive. What looming disaster? Peasants war. Well, yeah, let's understand. Alright, we're gonna rival the English. Yeah, we can't afford the peasants war. Okay, I have an idea. We can't fight this. And I don't have the, the wherewithal to do it. So instead, what we're going to do is allow the peasants war to fire, lose the stick's stick stability, accept demands. We're going to gain local autonomy everywhere, unfortunately. We no longer have the peasants war. Wait a second, what? What? What's this? Okay, it's going to happen again? I'm just going to permanently get the peasants war? Oh my god. Okay, right, I'm going to do that again. Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, oh, my game crashed. <laughs> Why do I permanently get the peasants war? This is going to keep firing because EU4 is not built for later start dates, so there are no current incidents in the Empire, meaning that we're just going to permanently have the Peasants' War, like forever. So I'm going to keep fighting it as far as I can. There's every chance that we have to just stay at minus six stability. And I can't even, uh, you know, use the console to, to trigger the uh, incident because it's Iron Man. For those of you wondering, this is for the most part why I don't play an Iron Man. Well, I do nowadays because people got upset about console commands. But this reason, if something goes wrong in the recording, um, and it's to do with the EU4 code, I can't fix it. <laughs> I wonder why everyone else isn't suffering from this. Just trigger, please, game, <laughs> EU4, fix it, Paranox, fix it. Fix the other start dates. Desperately trying to rack my brain to think of any sort of fix for this. But there are no incidents. <laughs> there's <laughs> there's one fix, which is leave the HRE. <laughs> Meaning I, I can't expand. That's all I've got. Those those are the options that I, I feel. I'm going to try and like develop our lands as much as possible in terms of buildings. Because this is not going to last forever. Plan and then fight the rebels and then probably leave the HRE. Is there anything else in the English channel I need? Probably you. Because once this king comes... Whoa, almost did, almost took that. I don't want it. I need to get out of this peasants war. I'm going to fight these peasants first. All right, we're going to become a republic. A Dutch republic. There we go. That's what we want. Dutch republic. Excellent. Does that get rid of the papacy thing, right? That gets rid of the peasants, peasants stuff, doesn't it? The great peasants war. I'm, I'm convinced of this. I'm absolutely convinced of this. The peasants war. Why? I'm a republic. Wait, no, but the great peasants war. Yeah, the Great Peasants War is still a thing. It happened. Oh my god, it happened. All right, do I even have estates? I do. So for those of you who don't know, um, the, the uh, Dutch Republic is a special government type just for the Dutch Republic. Um, yeah, so we might have to leave the HRE, which is good because we need protection against Spain because they want to attack their ally of Austria. All right, let's keep protecting our trade. As part of this, we also have our 
stasis versus orangists. Um, I want as many of these guys as possible, uh, in power as possible, stasis guys. Because it gives you a Republican tradition, which means we can keep on refreshing our uh, our rulers. Get those 666s in power. People say that this is the best government type in the game. Well, I was very sad when I, it looked like I wasn't going to get it. These three has declared war on Munster. I want to declare war on Munster. Okay, excellent. No more Great Peasants War. Which means we can now... Just going to use the Spanish money to develop our nation. That's the plan. That's the only plan that, that matters. See, th there we go. This is why we wait. Gain one stability. All right, is there anyone else in this trade node we want to take out? Uh, you. Allied to the French. So you can stay, buddy, pal, friend, compatriot. Uh, global trade's going to happen soon. Are we going to get that ah uh, English Channel isn't the highest in the rate in the world. It isn't by literally two point, literally by point four. Okay, well we can we can make that happen because we are the highest value, so we can we can force global trade just about. Okay, with demi cannon. Now cannons are actually kind of important. So we can have a small professional army. All right, we seem to we seem to be doing okay now. We got caught just as I was about to get the. Nope, we just we we don't get upset late. We just keep trucking onwards. All right, of course it's it's Dutch Republic. I don't get to. Keep recycling troops, or troops, uh, leaders. The Danes have the monopoly on the heavy ships. Okay. So, so a key thing to note is that we can royal marry with this government type. How many troops do the Austrians have? Austria has 67,000. The French have 46,000. The Spanish have 100,000. Okay, yeah, there's no way we could, we could beat the, the Spanish. Well, having said that, there is a chance, but only if the Austrians wouldn't come in, which they... I mean, they'd love to come in. Let's start dominating things around here. How have you managed that? How do you take this province? Okay. I need to make sure I'm protecting my interests here. So I need to protect trade in... I have dominance in, the in Chesapeake Bay. Chesapeake Bay. Maybe I go off to Canada. 28.4 and he's on 27.9. We are the dominant power. Theoretically, it's close. Look, give it to me. Just come on. Come on, man. Evangelical unions a thing. Game, please. Just give it to me. I'm losing money as I'm doing this. Because I have to surrender some of my dominance. <laughs> just game. I need this in my life right now. It's been almost a year and every month has a chance to give it to me. It's just not doing it. Yes! There we go. Global trade. Look at that. Gain 200 admin. Yes, please. Strongest trade power on Ivory Coast. And that's, that'll give us some good stuff. We'll get a claim on North Lanka. We'll receive seeds. Celion. We're gonna get morale of navies guy, just in case we get into any naval convicts, even though we only have one heavy. Purchase and ability. Um, probably war score costing its other religion. Actually, no, what am I doing? Trade ship power propagation, of course. We're on 22.2. Let's instead do that. Okay, we make roughly the same. Still lacking a thousand then. We need we need manpower. We're just dying for it. We've only got 20,000. Okay, let's go ahead and fix this. Thought I'd get more clicks out of that. <laughs> right, anyone who doesn't have allies, I'm just going to start crawling towards... Because I need to start securing trade. Well, there goes the Ming mandate. The best part about this uh, little reform here is that both guys get... <laughs> plus one to their skill. So we're going to grab this one. So he's a 433. He's actually a 434. <laughs> That's good. I just need to make sure the stasis are always in power. In fact, why are we messing around in Europe when we could just be in the Ivory Coast? <laughs> All of this we can just add to a, a colony thing. Trade company. You, you're not allied to anyone important. Yes, you are. The English, of course. How could I forget? And you're also guaranteed by Spain. That's fun. All right. Well, I want to start crawling towards the Spice Islands. So I have to wait for this colony to be done to do that. Anyone that give us more colonial range? Ah, colonial range. Brilliant. Now I need to build some cogs. It's going to take a few trips to ship our entire army down south and then up again. Oh, Prussia's a thing. Well, I think they always were a thing. How are the religious leagues going? All of... All right, it looks like very heavily stacked against Austria. I don't want to be involved, though. I want to sit here, make money, and go conquer China. That's the plan. Because how do I get more merchants, right? Well, obviously, I can finish the tree here, which will give us another two. Alternatively, I can get uh, child companies. You'd hope. This could go horribly wrong. In which case, I'm sure the editor will mock me mercilessly for it. I've just realized I'm leaving, as is going to be separatists. So let's go deal with them first. Sorry, Paul Van Ma When did, Where did he come from? I think I always had him, but I didn't realize quite how many pips he had. Come on, rise up. Well, if you'll finish your job, go repair. No big powers have joined. I'm surprised. Oh, they're so expensive. Why are they that expensive? 7.6 for a two guy. It's not worth it. Well, I'm already paying that over here, but that's because I need him. Right. Alpha pop. Straight to war. Five, four, six, you say? That's a five, five, six. Wonderful. This is good news. Hey, Admiral. I already got one. Uh, in fact, we don't need that. We'll go murder those ships for fun, though. God, Spain is just constantly holy warring. Excellent. Self sustaining colony. Does that mean I can reach around here? It is. Can I go a little bit further? Thank you, three. I can reach sort of here ish. I want to get down here before the orchard keys. <laughs> I'm gonna hire a conquistador just so I can go into these territories. I don't even know what's there or why I can't go into it. Land movement blocked by hostile fort. Okay, so the conquistador, actually useless. Blemish separatists, why? Where'd they come from? All right, trade company you, and I'm also gonna trade company you. Did you just declare war on everyone? You just declared a world war. Okay, I, I gotta make sure I'm ready to fight everyone. Um, So, we're gonna go ahead and build a spy network on both sides, and then whoever's losing, we're gonna jump on. I'm also gonna hope these Flemish separatists don't. 
Thank you. I think the army's in there somewhere. Yep, they were. I'm just going to discover around the place a little bit. Frequency of election. I don't really want that. Consolidation of power is better. Probably that maximum absolutism. Absolutism? Absolutionism. Is it absolution? That, that, that sounds like... Like a religious thing. Just realize how little I care. Let's focus on this, like, let's focus on conquering Africa. Absolutism. Okay, Spanish want military access. Sure. What the hell? Invest in the rich trades. Oh, I'm the strongest power on Ivory Coast. Nice. Um, power range plus 20%, you say? And I can charter the VOC. So, could I theoretically have, like, a thing here? A little, little forward operating base? I might have been able to have this one. Someone got there first. So, what do I have claims on? I have claims over here. I do, right? Yeah. Oh, I suppose it's not updated. There you go. And these are two places ripe for the taking. That's, like, the most important province. Uh, that one. Care about Wolof, the gold province or something? No. Are there any gold provinces here? Oh, there is. Lovely. Excellent. Dutch Guinea. Sign all these provinces to the trade company. Uh, ask you to exchange map. Can I, can I see around here, please? Oh, I've got another mission. Start the, the WIC. Oh, excellent. More stuff to do with Guinea. Yeah, could I have vision on this? How do I do that? Threatened attitude so you won't share your maps. <laughs> Just, right, we need to go over here and kill these guys in Bruges. And then we'll come back and kill all the guys in... I want to rival Portugal. I assume Spain's involved in that one. Okay. Uh, so to recap... The Spanish have declared war on the French, who are at war with Spain, Austria, and, and Portugal. Um, the Commonwealth are allied to the French, so they're also fighting Austria, Spain, and Portugal. But then Brandenburg, this little miner here, has declared war on Austria, putting them at war with Austria and Spain. Meaning that Spain and Austria are at war with France, the Commonwealth, and most of Middle Europe, including Sweden. Okay, this is why I didn't join the League Wars, boys, because I might be able to nip in and just, like, murder you. Spanish aren't feeling too good. Okay, I could attack. Could I attack Austria? Maybe the French wouldn't come in? I'll call upon League members. I'm not part of the HRE anymore, man. Right, we'll let that war play out a little bit before we do anything. One thing I've never done before is trade company investment. I've never actually... Never did it. Go ahead and quickly debase our currency, and then remove the corruption. And we go ahead and embrace global trade. Gives me another merchant. Now, can I push you straight to Sevilla, Caribbean, Bordeaux? Mm, this is the issue. Bordeaux. Which, I can, which will then get moved to Champagne, which most of which does not get moved. That's just giving money to the French. I don't really fancy giving money to the French. I don't really dominate trade over here either, can I? 1%. Might as well shift it from the North Sea. Oh, nice. Incense. And we become a great power. That is good. <laughs> we really turn this around. Does that mean we can get involved? I can get involved on the French side. That's really funny. I'm not going to. Yeah, I think the politics of the German princes doesn't really concern me, does it? Morale of is plus 20%, 10 years. Okay. What? What's this? I can nip in and, and French wouldn't have any allies. They have Savoy and Liège, but they can have more troops than me. If I were to nip on on you, Austria would still come in. And I, therein lies our issue. Mali surely has a lot of cause. He only has a couple of... No, late. No, we don't do... We're not, we're not here for conquest. We're here for trade companies. All right, there we go. That's this area pacified. Now, I'd love to get into northern India. Meanwhile, the Russians and the Ottomans are going after it. Jesus, the world just exploded into violence. This one, I'm gonna... This is a gold province. I'll operate that one directly. Mm. As we might be able to leg it and get Paris, but, like, he's there already. So I don't really want to do that. Right, I'm gonna build a couple of couple of heavies. Like, five or six of them. Just to establish dominance over the... Then we're gonna go and try and get ourselves a little base in India. Another merchant. Shuck him in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. What kind of damage you can do out there? Pirates have most of the control. Interestingly, the English trade is booming. It's almost as good as the... The, uh, it's better than the Sevilla one, and that's shocking considering that they own most of the world. You know what? Screw the HRE. I do want to get to the 60% crown land. I need to start revoking. Six heavies is surely enough to conquer Ceylon. Why do I keep on... Why? It's not French, lead. Why do I keep on saying it, pronouncing it in a French accent? Okay, they won their war against the French, and they did not annul the alliance. Oh, that's that opportunity gone. All right, let's give this a go. All right, boys, 12,000 of you. That should be enough, fingers crossed. Excellent. Land some troops, please. You better land and quit, because we will die. All right. These ships won't make it back to port. Thank you. And then we'll take over this fort, mate. I have to go back and do it again now. Are you still black flag? No. Brilliant. All right. Again, hurry, please, before these ships die. Can't afford to build more. Well, I can. That's a complete lie. Thank you. All right. Excellent. Now, can we push our colonies out a little bit further? Like around here in Indonesia? Yeah, we can. Excellent. The emperor was triumphant. Not so excellent. And I think the king died. Unconditional surrender. Thank you very much. So weird thing about playing as a small European nation. You can sort of just... Turn up and trounce everyone around. Ah, yes! We can found the uh, East Indian, uh, Dutch East Indian, the Oost Indisch Company. Gives us colonial range, tra gold tra trade power, and more importantly, a merchant. So we are actually going to start steering trade around here. Oh, we can just straight send straight to the English Channel. I did not know that. Well, we're about to be a lot richer. Jesus Christ. That was a lot of ships. Well, they're gone now. Ah, and excellent. We can upgrade to a in, into the United Provinces. All right, realistically, I think getting more heavy ships, great idea. And then just light ship it up, boys. I don't want to have to fight over here, but I, I kind of have to. Yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Just one second. Sorry, Dutch peasants. Fine, let me just increase my stability. Did I get rid of you? What are you so upset about? Oh, seizure of state land. Just, come on, that was a 71% that I lost there. It's just, it's not fair. 
All right, excellent. There's another colony done. Any other specific ones that I'd want to do? I don't think so. I think it's just sort of fleshing out what we've got already. Crawling down the coast. I kind of want to start colonizing up here. They're like a Canadian company going. Ah, well, that's fun. I'm sure my admiral's dead. He is. All right, excellent. You will give me your lands. Thank you very much. Who else will be fighting? These guys aren't exactly like the easiest to fight. They are Miltic 15. Like, they're similar tech to me. Oh, we've got 100%. Wonderful. Excellent. So that gives us... We've seized it. So we get a permanent claim on Kalpa. And trade steering is good for us. Now it wants us to own this. All right, I think we're well on the way to building our little trade empire, as the Dutch did. So I think that's where we'll leave it for today. Um, yeah, I didn't quite manage to do... Oh, God, they took Picardy as well. I didn't quite manage to reclaim all of the uh, the Dutch lands over here, but I think we focused on what was important, which was uh, securing ourselves. And we have, like, a nice little trade empire going on. We make a lot of money per month. Uh, we make about 42 ducats off of trade alone, which is excellent, um, especially for a nation of this size. We have very little manpower, but that's fine. We can use mercenaries. The Ottomans seem to have started the, the, the process of partitioning the Poles, who have been isolated from the front. I think next moves, I would be building a trade company up here, or at least, sorry, a colonial nation up in Canada to push trade to the English trade node, and then just sort of, yeah, expanding down the coastline um, and just securing our trade. I, I think nothing can really hurt us at this point in time. We don't have any allies. So obviously, the Spanish can come after us. But with our troop count of, like, 30,000, if we could, we could probably... Maintain an army of about 50, 60,000 for some years. Stack the, the back line with cannons. And I reckon we could take the Spaniards. Even though they have... Maybe maybe we don't need to prove that we could take them. Maybe just take them over 150,000. All right, lads. That's where I'll leave it today. So if there are any other sort of historical times uh, you want me to, to check out. I mean, one person wanted me to do, for example, Bohemia when they're at war with Austria and everyone else in the uh, 30 Years' War. Uh, there's, for example, trying to turn the tide of the, the Balkans as both Bulgaria or the Ottomans. Uh, we can try and, I don't know, resist the conquest of India, fulfill the conquest of India. There's a lot of stuff we can do with a sort of historical basis. And I'm really, really enjoying, like, fulfilling people's ambitions. Um, yeah, so let me know in the comments down below. And if you did enjoy, please do like and subscribe. It really does help me out. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons. Most notably, Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadowsinger. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.